Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show. We are Wednesday, uh, November 20th, 2019. The markets are down today for, uh, for a simple reason, is that uh, Donald Trump uh, told the, the, the Chinese that if they don't come to an agreement soon, he's going to, uh, inc uh, to put some more tariff on uh, all products uh, uh, from uh, Ocean uh, Pacific. So um, that's the reason why the market goes down, because the deal is not coming out. So, and then uh, we had the lows as uh, for the first earning today. So lows opened higher and then came down. The earnings went uh, 135 to 141. And Target stayed at its top, though, and 119 to 136. And Metro, 69 to 68. The stock is doing nothing. But there's also an, an, a news on Lowe's. Uh, they are going to close 34 stores throughout Canada, but uh, 12 are come uh, from Quebec and small c smaller cities. And uh, the, the next uh, movement is Arrive. That stock has been incredible uh, to, today because uh, you have to look at, to see this this way. Uh, let me show you in five minutes with uh, that way. So the stock prior to the market opening, like at 7.30, the, the stock went from uh, $6 to $13. And prior to the market opening, the stock arose until $30 and came back to $12 to $11 at 9.40. So at the uh, the opening of the market, and since the stock is going sideways, so that is, that's been a, a very very impressive uh, movement. And um, here, wait a second, and then the next one, right here. Is the, uh, and, and the news on Arrive is that uh, they have a, a clinical, uh, positive clinical data uh, for uh, ovaries cancers. And uh, the next is uh, Trivena. The stock is not really going up. It's a, a positive result phase three on one of the cure 
uh, from the Journal of Pain Research, they said. And EXO uh, is being sued uh, and its president also uh, by, uh, by a collective uh, sue in Montreal because they would have uh, uh, provided the false information from April to October, April 2018 to October 2019. So that's what's happening. The question bar is open and uh, some people coming in. So let's see what the market are doing. Whoops, uh, we are making a new low right now on, on the SPY. And uh, the Dow is tightly sitting on today's... Uh, oh, look at the SPY going down. So uh, it's accelerating right now. So not very positive. So the Dow, NASDAQ also makes a new low. The Dow, the SPY and the TSX is coming back down because, uh, because of the energy sector and the financial sector. The, uh, the, the, the TSX uh, has, has done uh, quite a move. Uh, the mining was also from the, the, the beginning this morning. So now the, uh, the energy is coming back down. The, mi the mining is co are coming back down. And also the financials are, are on the return right now and uh, the technology also. So the only uh, positive sector, the only movement that really paid a little bit today was uh, the cannabis uh, sector because since uh, HMMG has uh, reached its uh, famous uh, support yesterday here, uh, so the, a, a little uh, pullback uh, started and uh, that's what you see on HMMG. So the first pullback yesterday came right here. And at the end of the day, we crossed the, the resistance. And this morning, it was some, there was some continuity on it. So about uh, look, 8.30 to 9.50. And uh, in, in, in many stocks, uh, the same thing happened. Like you see a Canopy this morning has uh, given one, a couple of signals. So I'm going to put it back in like two minutes. So you'll see what happened today there. So we had uh, this, uh, one, there was a little pause at the opening for a minute or two, and then uh, started, and we had another bullish cycle. So two or three of them, and uh, finally it never uh, reversed, and then still producing a little bit. So you know, we still have a little bit of buyers uh, in the sector. But um, and uh, actually, um, uh, weed is beginning a new bullish cycle, while ACB and uh, and Afria and Aurora uh, and also VFF are really on the top of the day, and that's as many other stock though, even Chronos. So will we have another bullish cycle a little bit later? That's we have to follow it to to see if this is going to happen. So this morning uh, we had the inventory, and uh, at the beginning. Uh, we had a little jump, then a little pause, and then it kept going up. But we're not sure exactly if this is all about um, uh, all about the inventory or if, if the attention in Middle East is, uh, could be a little bit responsible on it. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, something's happening. It's, it's really continues. Look at this. Uh, NASDAQ is very volatile. So actually right now there's such a heavy trading. So we have a little uh, 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 delay in the quotes, I see. A very, very small delay, but it's there. So, uh, and uh, there's a very much, uh, there's an excess of volatility there. We have a 132 point down on the, the, the Dow, but I, I'm not sure, you know, it's really, really pulling back. So let's see um, in, uh, in 30 seconds, what, what it does okay so now I have a better reading here so th there was a first move and then the second move and um, so there's probably a, a, a probably a news came out somewhere but we don't know yet what it is so for the moment it's going to give uh, a, like a, a little bit of a cold shower to the market uh, uh, with the, this uh, new direction it does not affect the cannabis at all and uh, you see, look at how fast uh, the oil stocks are coming down. Green. It really, really goes fast. So uh, we, we, ha we have a 30 second. Uh, uh, do, do I have? No, it's a five minute chart that I have here. So uh, let's see uh, in, in one minute to all of those. 
Okay, so very, very, very clear uh, reversal here. It's really going down right now. So uh, look at consumer discretionary also plunging. So all sector, technology, uh, telecom, utilities, industry all made a new low and the financials are plunging and the mining and everything. So there's certainly a bad news that came on the market uh, in the last uh, few minutes. Look at NASDAQ again and the Dow. <laughs> It's really going down. We have 179 now, so um, uh, hard to know where this thing is going to land. Uh, so far, we're making new lows all the time. So let's see now on the 15 minute what it looks like. Oh, so that's uh, look. Uh, we now we're now to the low of the uh, of uh, uh, two days ago. So uh, on Monday uh, we are back on Monday's low uh, for Nasdaq. And uh, the same, quite the same thing uh, on on the Dow. Even uh, even uh, a fri uh, a fri even Thursday. Now we're we're arriving at Thursday Thursday's low. So it's going down quite fast uh, at the at, at the moment. Have you found anything? No. No. So nothing is coming out in the news so far. Stock falls sharply no, to. Well, report well, phase it's one. Possible that the phase one trade deal may not be complete this year. Okay, so now they just said that the phase one uh, deal may not be completed this year. So uh, the, the deal with China. So uh, that's what uh, made made the market accelerating. So I think they're just trying to put pressure on, on the on the Chinese because this this follows the news from this morning that uh, Donald Trump told the Chinese if we don't have a deal we're going to uh, uh, increase the tariff so it could be both thing at the same time so new tariff uh, that could come out to China and also the deal being uh, reported so that's what it is so be careful before buying anything long in this type of uh, situation where the market accelerates and uh, we're still on the low you look at it we have no pull back uh, yet uh, look, you see look, look it's a straight down line and um, uh, we haven't have any pause uh, yet on on this movement here's the first little pullback so far so uh, and uh, at 200 point so uh, hey the spire must have been uh, uh, very nice here i mean uh, look at this here so let um so tvix has you jump up yeah. so that's TVX doesn't go up that much. I found uh, for for that for that type of uh, of movement, uh, less I think in in percentage. But okay, so we are now building uh, the first uh, uh, support here. So with the, this quote that 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 pullback quote that just stopped here. So we have that neutral phase now, uh, right there. And how how far is it going to come back, or are we going to come uh, lower again? So the pullback is very limited so far. You see, we have a, about a, it's a one minute chart. So now we've been uh, 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 stabilized since about one minute. So it, this this will not give any uh, a nice feeling to any sectors because now. Uh, with the energy coming back down, uh, the, the, the gold has not even reacted on the upside on it and uh, the mining are just coming down. So it, it, it's a funny reaction. Uh, we, we would have uh, um, uh, expect the gold to jump up uh, on, on this. So now uh, uh, the uh, consumer discretionary is threatening its short term support. The telecom also. And now the financials are just just a little movement. It's totally sideways, and uh, the, the correction will certainly reach the support for the industry. Also, you know, so there's no bullish momentum anywhere on any sector. Uh, I mean, very p positive because we have a pullback in the cannabis, but it's still within the downtrend. Okay. So, just uh, we gotta do a little pause here. 
Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Welcome back. So um, uh, it is uh, still uh, continuing here. Uh, we 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 do have a we do have a longer uh, uh, support so far, but uh, we still have this resistance here that the market don't want to pass. Uh, it, it's the same thing here and there, and and on the TSX, so both of them. So I mean, it's possible that we go even deeper. So we'll see. So. Uh, if the Dow comes back, uh, it, it start pulling back here at uh, 27,750, uh, 770, so 27,770, then there will be uh, a, a new pullback and the market will may come back up. But I mean, if they put some more oil on the fire there, uh, we may even go e even lower than that. So we're now 186 point uh, on the Dow and we went down the, until uh, 200. So, um, you know, uh, there isn't much uh, besides, and I think uh, now uh, it, it, it looks like it's quite over in, in most of the stock and none of our day trade are, uh, are, 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 are pushing up at the moment because of what's happening on the market. And uh, either I think the cannabis is now over, so it, start, it started coming back down. So I think uh, the uh, bullish uh, phase, intra the bullish phase from the cannabis is now over for the day, I guess. Uh, and um, so, and what the market are doing, you know, it's very fragile right now. So, you know, uh, before you buy any long position, make sure this market is not going to continue this correction so far. So this is it for today, folks. Thank you very much for attending. We'll, we'll catch you later.